Hello Gate aspirants, I am Ritesh Roshan, Director of the Gate Academy and I am very very pleased to uh, introduce to you Mr. Rahul and Mr. Manoj. Uh, Rahul happens to be uh, our classroom student for mechanical in uh, Jainagar branch in Bangalore and he has topped Gate 2018 in XE that is Engineering Sciences. So many con congratulations sir. Thank you sir. And also incidentally Mr. Manoj has got rank 2 and he is also from uh, our classroom student. Uh, at ba Bangalore Janagar branch for mechanical. So many congratulations, congratulations to you as well. So I would like to know from you guys that what made you join uh, the Gate Academy? Actually what happened? So I would like to share my experience. I was in fourth semester when I received a mail from the Gate Academy saying that uh, uh, there is a HOD nomination through which I am uh, uh, nominated. I am nominated to which. So I initially thought that it is uh, some spam or advertisement kind of mail and uh, I was about to reject it. But after I uh, asked my HOD and then came back, I got to know about GATE and GATE Academy, before which I didn't have any idea regarding even GATE exam. So from then on, we started uh, looking as to what is GATE and what, it, what GATE Academy does. And then uh, we tried to join here. And uh, I uh, suggested Rahul also to join. And that's how we both joined the institute. The so why did you join Rahul? So for Manoj, so for our viewers I would like to tell that we run a scheme called HOD uh, nominations where we give opportunities to HODs of colleges and uh, renowned colleges to nominate few students whom we sponsor uh, partly and fully depending upon their ranks in the college. So we uh, give this opportunity so that GATE is made popular amongst students and I am very glad that you came to know about GATE exam through us and uh, you actually made uh, rank 2. And by the way, also for, for all the viewers, I would like to uh, also add that both of them are freshers, right? So they have not dropped any year. They have not taken a break to attempt GATE. They have not uh, wasted any time. They are freshers. They are still in their fourth year, fourth year of engineering college and they have still uh, topped GATE. So many congratulations, congratulations again. Thank you, Thank you sir. Yeah. So Rahul, uh, for Manoj, the reasons are clear that he received a mail. Why did you uh, thought of taking up GATE and joining the GATE Academy? Manoj was my classmate in engineering and uh, he told me that he is uh, actually surprised to get such a mail and he was excited to join uh, GATE coaching and uh, since he was my classmate I thought it is a good idea uh, to join coaching and, uh, and target for GATE exam because uh, I did not know anything about GATE exam before receiving this uh, update and so uh, since he was my classmate and it would be a good learning experience, uh, learning together. So that was how I joined GATE Academy. Perfect. So uh, now s after you joined GATE Academy, you went to uh, the classes. So what was your first experience like? Yeah, so the first experience was uh, with uh, Reginald sir. He taught us mathematics and uh, that we studied under him is, has brought immense uh, pleasure to us. And he took the whole math course in a very nice manner and a very uh, uh, scheduled manner. And uh, we never felt any burden or something that we, have, we were studying maths. Uh, although we were studying a lot of concepts for the first time, uh, his uh, methodology was very nice and that gave a very nice impression of, of the GATE Academy to us. But you usually uh, study mathematics in, uh, during your engineering course as well. So what was different in what, what was being taught uh, by the GATE Academy professors? So. Uh, especially Reginald sir taught us maths in a very clear manner. He was, he actually gave an impression that he is very well versed with the subject. Uh, the very fact that he teaches clearly shows that he is very confident and uh, we get an impression that we have to, we can follow him and we can actually excel in the subject. So if I have to uh, ask more about uh, what has been your experience with the GATE Academy, what would be the strong points which you would like to uh, present that why did you like Gate Academy and wh what made, uh, what all things we contributed to your success? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we had a whole lot of professors from different IITs and IIC uh, who were very uh, well versed with each of the subjects they were handling and some of them were in fact better with two or more subjects. Uh, we were struggling to even study one subject and that's a very nice point in the Gate Academy and all teachers are very cooperative and uh, they are very conversant with the students that's what we liked about and the most teachers. important thing i think are, is that uh, all the teachers are previous uh, gate toppers or gate rankers so they have 
experienced writing gate exam and they have a real experience of what uh, difficulties the students uh, face so it is uh, very beneficial that actual previous gate uh, candidates are teaching gate aspirants so basically you are saying that uh, do they also uh, apart from teaching do they also help students in other manners yes certainly of course uh, in guiding as to what textbooks we must refer and uh, where we have to stress upon and where we must not go too deep into uh, we mustn't we mustn't do research too much before the gate exam we have to stress upon certain topics and if we didn't understand this to topic we have to just keep uh, keep it away for a while and then uh, go with all other topics and then we have to come back all these uh, intricacies of each subject were taught to us from these teachers and teachers take personal interest in the benefit of students and uh, they uh, see that student is benefited by uh, to the be best ex extent using their uh, experience and knowledge so rahul uh, while you were studying in the gate academy you also mentioned me that there was a lot of pressure from the college itself right so why there was a pressure it's uh, why do f why did you feel uh, so much of pressure while preparing for gate actually just attending classes will not uh, prove anything because it is on the students to go home and uh, uh, do their homework their part of the study teachers can uh, just impart their knowledge and make us inspired but it is the students who actually study and put their hard work so that uh, they can achieve correct so that is why uh, it was more on the students and hence on me also to do my part of study before i attend each class so that was why i felt uh, it is uh, quite jam packed to do my part so was there a push from uh, gate academy faculties also to uh, do some homework or something or they were just coming to the classroom and teaching yes certainly uh, they were ex expecting us to do our homework part go back and study whatever was there and they also used to give us weekly uh, targets or something like that uh, which which will help us you know go uh, in a step by step manner towards the goal of completing the whole course so in that way Uh, teachers have been very uh, scheduled and very uh, disciplined in that manner so rahul you have got rank 1 and manoj you have got got rank 2 in uh, gate 2018 uh, now i would also like you to share some tips with uh, the future gate aspirants right right so what should they do what should they not do so i would like to start from say uh, the last month of preparation so uh, if i am a gate aspirant and my gate exam is one month down the line i have only one month left so what should uh, ideally i should be doing in my during the last month of my preparation so definitely we have to take mock tests these mock tests give us uh, an experience of how the actual gate e environment will be so we must as much possible try to recreate the situation whatever is there uh, in the actual gate exam that will help us a lot so what did you do to recreate uh, the situation what was your actual experience rahul so uh, the gate exam Uh, schedule was announced and i came to know that my exam was on 3rd february in the morning session from 9 am to 12 pm so i saw that i took all the mock exams from 9 am to 12 pm so that i am adjusted to the uh, time span and uh, the sleep cycle is adjusted to that so that i remain fresh in that uh, period from 9 am to 12 pm so that i can deliver uh, the best uh, whatever i have studied in gate exam and uh, what about uh, so while you are taking exam so i have we have seen that there are certain apps which gives the scientific calculator on your mobile phone so should we be using should the gate aspirant be using uh, smartphone based uh, applications uh, we strictly recommend that uh, mm -hmm. it is not uh, good to use uh, smartphone applications you can become conversant with the kind of calculator but not with the speed uh, the speeds will be, when we work with the mouse is different from what we work on the smartphone so it is always better to recreate the actual situation correct so that is why uh, rahul uh, as you have experienced that in gate academy mock test we provide uh, scientific calculator for students uh, so that uh, they can actually go through the uh, problems or challenges which every student faces during the gate exam while uh, moving the cursor and uh, actually typing the numbers so that has to be done by all the students that you should not rely on a uh, normal physical scientific cal calculator you should be actually using the the web, uh, the computer based uh, computer based uh, scientific cal cal calculator in a computer in using a, com a mouse using mouse yeah that's, that's right 
and apart from the last month of preparation uh, rahul and manoj so if i you have if you have to tell me as a uh, as a gate aspirant that what should i be doing during the last week of my preparation so uh, i suggest that no candidate should uh, study textbooks in the last week uh, he has to keep formula sheets ready for all the subjects and he has to just uh, go through them and just recollect whatever he has studied and he may take uh, mock tests as well and studying textbooks is highly discouraged because it will just create confusion confusions and uh, bring down the confidence level but it will never uh, augment his study or uh, his performance in gate exam so can you uh, can you elaborate more on the formula sheet you mentioned something like formula sheet yeah. okay so formula sheet has to be prepared uh, as and when the candidate Uh, studies a particular subject when he is studying a subject for the first time uh, he can make a note of the important points and such things and then he as he solves different problems he comes across so many pitfalls and where uh, he goes wrong so those are the points which have to be uh, listed in the formula sheet so similarly uh, formula sheet has to be done for all the subjects so that uh, just referring them will give uh, overall picture of that subject and that will suffice Uh, uh to refer in the last week great so my uh, one month of preparation has happened where i have attempted uh, uh, many mock tests and that is why we conduct so many mock tests for our gate aspirants uh, apart from that i would also like to inform my uh, viewers that we also have chapter level and subject level test which you guys have already attempted so we advise this chapter level test and sub subject level test to be taken while i am going through a particular subject yes, yes. and not to wait till the last yes. moment last moment last month should be kept exclusively for the mock tests and such kind of practices uh, uh, you were also referring to the, the that mock test also help you to identify strength and weakness areas yes. and you could so can you please elaborate more on that manoj so we have to uh, go through the mock tests and uh, each mock test that we write we have to document our results and once we document our results we have to go go through them repeatedly so that we can uh, uh, identify our strengths and weaknesses the areas of or the topics of strengths and topics of weaknesses and that gives us a better idea as to where i should emph emphasize more and where i can be a bit lenient there so that uh, so now i now rahul uh, who is ranked number 1 and manoj who is ranked number 2 in gate 2018 uh, xc paper i would like you guys to also advise our students how they should conduct themselves during the first 15 minutes of gate exam what they should be doing during the first 15 minutes so if i have to outline the strategy for gate exam the first 15 minutes have to be completely uh, kept aside for just viewing the question paper so that they uh, identify what is called emd easy medium and dif difficult questions so uh, it is expected that the student does three iterations and in the first iteration he does only attempts only the easy questions which are uh, which he is sure that he can do it so and in the second iteration he will have to attempt the medium uh, difficulty questions Uh, which take a bit more time than the easy questions and then in the last iteration he has to attempt the difficult questions else he will be just losing time and not gaining any marks very true so actually we have also seen as uh, uh, we also strongly advise our students that uh, first 15 minutes has to be spent analyzing the question paper mark each and every question paper as either easy or medium or difficult either e m or d because what happens is suppose the second question is very very difficult then what happens is students sometimes they take it as a challenge and they end up spending half an hour only at the end to solve that question wrongly yes so one one you have sp uh, spent half an hour that sets sets up a, a panic in your mind and then you end up doing even easy and medium questions wrongly yes you attempting wrongly so that should be completely avoided what we should do is first 15 minutes we should completely devote in analyzing the standard and difficulty level of the question and then in three iterations as rahul clearly mentioned first iteration we have to solve the easy questions in the second iteration we have to solve the medium questions and after that if the time permits we have to at start at attempting the difficult so, questions so this will ensure that we will not lose marks on very easy questions yeah. and which are e actually uh, uh, marks giving giving yeah so uh, rahul and manoj so would you also like to speak about uh, one more tip which we, we were discussing 
this is with respect to documentation of failure so what exactly you meant by that yeah so every time we take a mock test or any other kind of test it is uh, definitely possible that we fail in the first attempts first few attempts and uh, we are supposed to take uh, these or document these results so that for future reference it will be very helpful in that when we want to get back and revise we can uh, go to that particular topic and then find okay. it very easy otherwise it becomes very clumsy and it is not quite advisable to do maintain such a uh, procedure so while attempting any test uh, i would suggest that uh, double the time is devoted meaning say a mock test is for 3 hours he has to devote 6 hours for that meaning the first 3 hours for attempting the test and then he may take a break and then analyze whatever he has uh, attempted the calculations whatever he has done so so that he can identify whatever mistakes he has done and make a note of them and similar thing has to be repeated for each mock test and the corresponding uh, worked out sheets have to be documented so that in the last week of preparation before the gate exam just looking at them will give a clear idea of where we go wrong and where we where there are fit, pitfalls what are the tricky questions uh, where we are likely to go wrong so this is uh, this place uh, this gives clear information as to where we can get marks where we can lose no marks, marks. Yeah. so rahul I, in fact i would like to uh, also add that it's not only about mock tests so even while we are attempting questions attempting question from our textbooks even while we are attempting question from a, a gate question bank so which all whichever question we have not been able to solve well and we have not been a- able to solve in the first attempt we should mark them we should leave them and we should come back to them again if we are able to solve them again well otherwise we should again mark them so that when we are revising the syllabus during the last 2 3 months at that time we should not be attempt- attempting all the questions right yes, we will not yes. never have that kind of time yes. so but we must attempt those question where we failed true yes. so we have to and because if we attempt those questions where we have failed we will not be failing in those questions in the actual gate exam yes. right so Very we have to as you rightly said we have to document our failures as you rightly said manoj we have to document our failures so that these failures are not repeated during the actual gate exam and hence it is advisable to take many mock tests and even before that previous gate gate papers so that uh, previous gate papers why when we work out that we will get a clear picture of what the pattern of questions is and after that when we go to mock tests we'll come to know what are the new type of questions which can appear so uh, after taking each uh, previous gate paper and each mock test documenting them will go uh, hand in hand in uh, a student's success i would also like uh, rahul and manoj to advise our students that how a particular student should study Uh, uh while he is gaining concepts so i am talking about the initial 5 6 months when he is focused on gaining the concepts right so whether he should go uh, too deep into the subject or whether he should uh, uh just give a cursory look to the concept what where what balance he should strike whether sh- should he get into the depth of the subject completely no not really what is expected of a student initially is to just get uh bear understanding of the topics and then quickly go to the problem solving part so when he solves a problem he comes across various uh, problems various difficulties and that is when he understands the topics clearly so uh, spending too much of time just studying is just a waste of time and he will not be gaining much is there any other view you have manoj on this yes yeah, certainly uh, when we whenever we get into a topic it is usually a tendency that we get deviated from the topic or we get too deep into the topic mm-hmm. and that much of research before the get is not required uh, so research can be kept after get so certainly we can uh, just get so deep as much as we can gain from it and then start, pro- start solving problems quickly so that we can get a picture of what the get questions expect from us great so as manoj has rightly said that we have to be research scientists after gate not before right so what he is advising is that uh, on a lighter note uh, so what he is advising is that while we are studying a particular theory we have to obviously study it well 
but it doesn't mean that we start doing research on that particular topic what is much more important is that after studying the theory we should quickly go to the questions and revise and start attempting those questions because while going through the questions our concepts are more cleared yes right yes. and that is why in our textbooks which we provide to all the gate academy students we have kept sizable uh, numerous questions various difficulty level at the end of each topic so the students can start attempting those questions and the theory which he has studied becomes more and more clear and apart from that uh, we also have chapter tests and uh, subject level tests which students are supposed to uh, you know attempt before he gets to the new, new uh, subject to teach yeah Manoj. and it is our experience that uh, whenever we solve problems lot of our doubts which come in the beginning will get clarified in the future yes, yes. so it's always good to have patience and keep solving lot of problems so as to get a feeling of the subject just getting stuck in one part will just waste time and it, it will never help us understand con concepts so uh, rahul it was uh, really a pleasure to speak to you and uh, i would like you to say some final words to our future gate aspirants uh, would you like to give them uh, some rise and give them the tips which you have sure. already spoken yeah. sure uh, when any gate aspirant starts studying a subject he should not he should ensure that he is not going too deep into any concept and he sees that he first gets a first level of understanding and quick quickly goes into problem solving and he gains much more understanding of the concepts well he solve solves problems and after completing each section or each subject it is advisable that he takes section tests section tests are uh, available in the gate uh, online portal gate academy online portal so uh, he take it is advisable he takes the section tests seriously uh, after each subject and then uh, he makes a note of all the failures there so that documenting the failures will help him in not committing the same mistakes in the gate exam and uh, manoj uh, what would be your final uh, words to the gate aspirants how they should conduct themselves okay so during the last uh, month or during the last few months of preparation i would suggest that people take lot of mock tests Uh, in which you can identify the questions and again uh, as rahul said with respect to section tests you have to again uh, do the documents of failures again and uh, analyze all those things and in the last week it is always better to keep ourselves light and uh, uh, no, take not too much of tests in the last week or not you no need to study too much in the last week uh, just keep relaxed and you can uh, do the formula sheet the formula sheet must be done while uh, reading itself but the revision has to be done in the last few months and uh, multiple revisions of the formula sheet have to be has to be done that will ensure that you remember the formula very easily and mistakes committed before exam is fine not during the exam yeah. so all the mistakes could be done before the exam no issue with that and in the last week it is always good to keep the mind healthy and nice uh, take little food and all that so that's good Okay, and during the test, uh, the first fifteen minutes should be kept only for uh, reading the questions. Uh, the first fifteen minutes you have to use for uh, reading questions, and mentally you have to mark what questions are easy, what questions are moderate, and what questions are difficult. And the strategy is to plan, uh, do all the two marks question first, and then the one mark followed by uh, first easy questions, and then moderate ones. Finally, followed by the most tough ones if time permits. so uh, rahul and manoj i would uh, sincerely thank both of you that you shared the recipe of your success you we, you we spoke about almost like six tips how we should conduct in the first month how we should conduct in the last uh, uh, how why we should not get too much deep into the theory how why we should take take up chapter and subject level test why we should attempt mock test so all those tips are i'm pretty sure are going to help uh our future gate aspirants and they are going to be uh, largely benefited from the tips which my rank 1 uh, and my rank 2 has shared with our future students many thanks